In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about organizing and preparing to work in Unreal as far as creating your projects and how to store your projects. One thing that you need to understand about an Unreal game engine project is that Unreal, depending on the type of project that you choose, is going to generate numerous folders and kind of an overall project structure for you, which means you are going to need a location on your computer or as far as a storage device where you want to store that folder. So when you're ready to begin, you're going to come back into the Epic Games uh, main area here under the library, and you're going to want to choose Launch. For this demo, again, I'm going to use the 4.272. And it's not a matter that you make the game folder first. What you need to do is actually launch the engine or the editor. And now, as you can see, it's going to give you an option. You can either select previous projects that you've worked on or Unreal has actually tweaked this a little bit where you can choose a game category, everything from automotive all the way up to games. So I'm going to go ahead and select the games here since that's kind of the primary focus. And now what you can actually do here is you do have templates that you can work with. So for instance, I could choose a third person project. You can see it already has all of the different elements. It already has a player character in there. It's going to have the controls already preset for you. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Now this is kind of the important area here. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave the project settings as default. For instance, like if I was going to go further with the project, yes, I'd probably want to use blueprints as far as pro programming and creating additional interactive elements. Because of my computer capabilities, I can go ahead and leave on maximum quality. Uh, also too, you do have uh, different types of ray tracing. I could technically, because of my computer capabilities, I could enable ray tracing. Uh, if you're not sure, I'd tell you to keep this disabled. For my settings and for what I'm building, I normally keep this on desktop console. However, if you do click on the drop down, as you can see, you could also focus more on mobile and tablet if that's something that you know you're designing out of the gate. The last item here is especially if you're just starting out and you don't have any assets to work with, I would strongly encourage you to work with the starter content. In another video, I'm going to talk about the marketplace and some of the options you have as far as getting free assets to work with Unreal. However, once you get to that point, then you might want to actually come in and choose no starter content because it's just going to take up space in your project and make your project more bloated. The last thing that I really want to draw your attention to, though, is down at the bottom here where you're actually choosing the location for your project to be stored. So there's two elements to when you're saving and choosing a location. And I can go ahead and show you here as far as at least on my computer goes. So on my computer, I have an additional D drive where I have a bunch of different folders where I store specific projects. You can actually see I also have Unity projects. This is where I installed my Unreal Engine 4 and 5, things like that. What I decided to do was for all of my projects to be stored in a single location, I chose to make an Unreal project folder. Within here, I have sub projects that are unique to each of the projects themselves. So what I have here is I have a main container folder that really has nothing to do with the actual project itself. The important folder is what you name this project. So for instance, if I call this first Unreal project and I go ahead and tell it to generate the project here. You can actually see here over in my Explorer, you can actually see that it generated that folder for me. So first Unreal project here, let me go ahead and hop back in there. This first Unreal project is its own project entity. This is different from the content example project or the chair import project. So if I were to just want to move this specific project, I would not be picking up the entire Unreal project folder on my D drive. I would navigate into this folder and choose the specific Unreal project that I wanted to move. And to show you here, finally, inside of Unreal, one of the big things that Unreal does for you 
is it generates down in the content area, which I'll get to in a later video. But if I navigate back, you can see here, it actually makes a bunch of different folders for me that helps to create the baseline of the project. So instead of you having to go in and program and pull in all of the different assets, Unreal does a lot of that heavy lifting for you as far as preparing your project. So now you've generated a project that you can now start to work with elements, drag different elements in, and right out of the gate here, like if I go ahead and test just to show you, you can see already I have a character that is ready to go and I didn't have to do any programming or scripting and now I can build upon this project.